Now that we have seen both the crude hydrodynamics and activated state model, we know that they have a lot of assumptions which makes them ambiguous and impractical. So how do we deal with the real world problems? The Wilk-Chang equation comes to the rescue. The Wilk-Chang equation gives diffusivity of small concentrations of solute A in solvent B as follows. DAB equals 7.4 into 10 to the power minus 8 into under root of psi B into the molecular weight of B into absolute temperature divided by viscosity of solvent B into molar volume of solvent A raised to 0 0.6. The Greek letter psi here denotes the association parameter. The association parameter is defined as the ability of a molecule A to diffuse into B which is present in huge quantities trying to oppose A from diffusing. Complicated, isn't it? So let's simplify it with a similar situation. Let's assume there's a concert of liquid molecules and everybody in the crowd is pushing one another. Molecule A comes from far behind the crowd, but the crowd doesn't let A pass through. They ask him if he has a VIP pass, so A returns with a pass. Now, the crowd lets this A molecule pass through to the front row. Now, in this case, the crowd is the solvent B, and particle A is the molecule who's trying to diffuse, and his VIP pass is the association parameter. Typically, the values of psi are available in literature. As it is empirical in nature, its value is purely based on experiments. Few commonly used solvents with their association parameters are 2.26 for water, 1.9 for methanol, 1.5 for ethanol and 1 for most polar solvents. Now the next time someone asks why everything dissolves in water so fast, you know the answer. Application of Wilk-Chang is limited to dilute solutions and non-dissociating solutes only but has a great accuracy of 10%. One of the most important applications of this relation is it is used to determine diffusivities in simulation softwares. Here we come toward the end of our informative venture together to discover more about diffusivity and laws that govern it. We hope to have diffused all information that's out there into your system and expect to have left your neurons in a state of dynamic equilibrium